hi you're welcome back to my channel now we are giving this amazing tricky math question to solve so in the question we are asked to find the values of x and y okay all right now let's get right into it first um let's call this equation one and this equation two so from equation one we can see that y is equal to 20 minus x, right? So let's call this equation 3. Now we are going to prove that the answer we got for our x and y, that they are correct. And trust me, you wouldn't like to miss that part because that is the most interesting aspect of this video. Okay, thank you very much. Now, from 2, and 2 says that x multiplied by y is equal to 44 okay now we can say that x multiplied by now our y is 20 minus x 20 minus x is equal to 44 okay let's open the bracket x times 20 is 20x x times minus x is minus x squared is equal to 44 <laughs> Now, let's transfer this to the other side of the equation. If we do that, we have 20x minus x squared minus 44 is equal to 0. Now, if you look at this, you'll notice that we just formed a quadratic equation. So, let's rearrange it very well. If we do that, we have minus x squared plus 20x minus 44 is equal to zero now i have negative sign here and it looks awkward right <laughs> so let us um remove the negative sign by multiplying through by minus one multiplying both sides by minus one so we are going to have x squared minus 20x plus 44 is equal to zero now we are going to solve this using the quadratic equation formula. And this formula states that x is equal to a, a x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now in this case, our a is coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our B is coefficient of X, which is minus 20. Our C is our constant, which is 44. So if we substitute these values into this place, then we will have X is equal to minus minus 20 plus or minus square root of minus 20 squared minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 44, right? Yeah. Now, everything divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Then, if we continue, we are going to have x is equal to minus minus is plus. So, we have plus 20 plus or minus the square root of. Now, minus 20 squared is the same thing as 20 squared. And 20 squared is 400 minus 4 times 44 is 176. So we have 176 divided by 2. So x is equal to, we need to print part of this. So x is equal to 20 plus or minus the square root of now 10 minus 6 is 4, 9 minus 7 is 2, 3 minus 1 is 2. So we have 2 to 4 divided by 2. So x is 20 plus or minus. Now let's um try to get let's try to simplify 2 to 4. Since we are not asked to use calculator. So this is how I do mine so that I'll get 
my answer faster. Please, if this is the first time you have seen us, hit that subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. Yes, give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Then tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Thank you very much. So now we have 224. We divide by 2 to give us 112. We divide by 2 to give us 56. We divide by 2 to give us um, 40. Oh, sorry, 28. So we divide by 2 to give us 14. We divide by 2 to give us 7. We divide by 7 to give us 1. Now, because this is square root, square root meaning 2, right? So we are going to be taking 2s in 2s. The like uh, numbers, we multiply them in 2s. Okay, so we are going to have 2 times 2 is 4. So this will be square root of 4 multiplied by 2 times another 2 is 4 multiplied by now since this is the one remaining two times seven is 14 so write 14 divided by two so we have x is 20 plus or minus square root of four multiplied by square root of four multiplied by square root of 14 divided by two so our x is 20 plus or minus now square root of four is two square root of four is two again and we have root 14 okay divided by two now let's continue so from here we can say that x is equal to 20 plus or minus four root 14 divided by 2. So x is equal to 20 divided by 2 plus or minus 4 root 14 divided by 2. So we have x is equal to, when this divides this, we have um, 10. So we have 10 plus or minus 2 root 14. So it simply means that we have two values of x. The first value is 10 plus or minus plus 2 root 14. And the second value is 10 minus 2 root 14. So that simply means that we have the corresponding values of y as well. Okay. So we are going to also find the corresponding values of y. And then prove that the answer we got is correct. So when x is equal to 10 plus 2 root 14. Y is equal to, remember that, oh, we have cleaned it. Remember that from equation 1, we got y to be 20 minus x, right? So y will be 20 minus 10 plus 2 root 14. So y will be 20 minus times 10 is minus 10. Minus times plus is minus. And we have 2 root 14. So y will be 10 minus 2 root 14. Okay. Now when x is equal to 10 minus 2 root 14. Let's see what we will get. Then our y will be equal to 20 minus 10 minus 2 root 14. So y will be 20 minus times 10 is minus 10. Minus times minus is plus, And we have 2 root 14. So your y will be equal to 10 plus 2 root 14. Now, let us prove that the answer we got is correct, which, like I said, is the most interesting aspect of this video. So if you watch to this, to this point, thank you so much. Okay? All right. Now, let us verify. 
using equation one so for this when x is this then y is 10 minus 2 root 14 similarly so we can see that they are just the opposite of each other so when x is 10 minus 2 root 14 our y is 10 plus 2 root 14 so let us prove that the answer we got is correct so doing that we need to verify according to the first equation x plus y is equal to 20 right so our x is 10 plus 2 root 14 i'm making use of the first one okay then plus our y is 10 minus 2 root 14 now is this equal to 20 so if we solve for that, let us um, group like terms. If we do that, we have 10 plus 10 plus 2 root 14 minus 2 root 14. Is this equal to 20? So 10 plus 10 is 20 plus 2 root 14 minus 2 root 14 is 0. So you can see that 20 is equal to 20. That proves that the first, um, the answer we got satisfies the first equation. Now, what of the second one? Let us check for the second one. Now, the second one says that x multiplied by y is 44. Now, let's see how that is possible. x multiplied by y is 44. So, let's use this as well. When x is 10 plus 2 root 14 multiplied by 10 minus 2 root 14 is equal to 44. Now remember that a plus b multiplied by a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. So that means that we can write this as 10 squared minus 2 root 14 squared. Now, is this equal to 44? So, if we solve for that, 10 squared is 100 minus, then here will be 2 squared multiplied by root 14 squared. Is this equal to 44? Now, we have 100 minus 4. This will remove this, we have 14. Is this equal to 44? So we have 100 minus 4 times 4, 16. 4 times 1, 4 plus 1, 5. Is this equal to 44? And uh, yes, 100 minus 56 will give us 44. So you can see that 44 is equal to 44. That proves that the answer we got is correct, or the answers we got are correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.